So we know that Virgin Atlantic is a very important airline to the United Kingdom. There are many British people who would rather prefer to fly with Virgin Atlantic rather than British Airways. We're witnessing many airlines struggling during the COVID-19 pandemic, with the aviation industry struggling to get back to pre-COVID levels. Well, the unfortunate news is, is that Virgin Atlantic has warned that it will run out of money altogether by the final week of September if the creditors do not agree to a £1.2 billion bailout package. The rescue deal, which includes proposing creditors to accept a 20% chop of the money the airline will pay them back, will be voted by the High Court. As well as appealing to creditors to accept less money, Virgin Atlantic has also shut down its Gatwick base and they've announced that they will be cancelling 3,000 jobs, around a third of all of their employees, to cut their costs. Now the Virgin Atlantic Group, which owns 50 which owns 51% and shareholder Delta Airlines which owns 49% are trying to get £600 million to keep the airline afloat while £170 million in financing is being financed by a private investor. Now earlier on this month, Virgin Atlantic filed for protection from creditors in line with Chapter 15 of the US Bankruptcy Code in the United States alongside a separate court hearing in the UK. They insisted that support for the restructuring plan was already secured from majority of the stakeholders. Although the company's lawyers warned that the airline would find itself in a critical cash flow situation in September if the deal did not go through. Now the airline's restructuring plans are based on the prediction that the airline will become profitable again in 2022. Like majority of the airlines, the coronavirus pandemic has thrown the airline into turmoil. Virgin Atlantic only restarted flying in late July and they've already laid out a significant cost saving plan. This includes cutting 3,500 jobs, moving their operations away from London Gatwick Airport and the early retirement of their Boeing 747 jets which are not fuel efficient. They are currently running a fleet of 36 jets, down from 46 at the start of the crisis. It's also worth noting that the airline was turned down by the British government when they asked for a loan to help to ease their difficulties. The UK administration said that they would only help the airline in the last resort situation, which is a very different situation compared to other countries. Lufthansa has already received a 9 billion euro package from the German government, Air France KLM has got 10 billion, while President Trump has set up a 25 billion dollar rescue fund for the US airline industry. In response to the crisis, we know that the airline has closed their Gatwick base and they're also cancelling many jobs. So captains, do let me know what you think regarding this situation of Virgin Atlantic. Have you ever flown with the airline and what was your experience like? Do you think that they'll receive help from the government and what do you think they should do going forward? Thank you so much for watching captains, like and subscribe as always and I'll catch you guys very soon.